hi guys and welcome to billing system developed using access so let me show you guys how this works see the data that I have in here is officially stored on the table as you can see and we can always come in here and just click on new enter new data there if we say let's say we want four milk and there is automatically added let's go for cafe five of those bread let's say about nine beans maybe two latte one about five of those and espresso let's say two well no one wants espresso see that change to zero there but you can see what's happening is as we enter our data it's automatically calculated in there and the same thing apply to the total cost of items okay and here we have a calculator if you want you can use that calculator to check whatever you want to check the choice is yours okay so what I'm going to do now is we can save we can go for previous or oh, next previous and so on and save as well let's see this data that I've just entered on the work worksheet so let's close that and reopen it come back in here close and let's double click on it to reopen it as you can see that is the data that I've added so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into access development environment and we put one of these together we can exit or we can just say no you don't want to exit click on exit yes save, save changes there we go so I'm going to just minimize that and start a new project entirely so let's come here let's save that as billing system and click on create there we go you see this table let's right click on that table and save that table I'm just gonna enter in there bills yeah that would do there and I'm going to right click on this and let's go to design view now the first thing I want to do is you see that will become my product ID and the product ID I'm going to leave that as auto number now the first item is going to be milk and this very milk I'm going to make that number because you just need to enter how many things of milk you want and so on now let's go straight to the lookup here to change some properties in there click on lookup or on the display control I'm going to change that to combo box and where we have source type rule source type I'm going to change that to value list and inside our value list I'm just going to enter about let's go for maybe about 10 or or more I'm going to go for about 15 so let's say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay I have 15 numbers in there that can be selected right that's fine and that is that so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come back to general here you see where we have default value I'm going to enter zero in there okay so the milk default value that you guys will see is going to be zero okay so if I cl right click on it and let's click on display save that that's what you get you see the default value is zero so let's go back to design view 
now right underneath here I'm now going to create another field name and I'll just call that cost of milk in the case of cost of milk here that will become calculate and that will just be square bracket milk and we just multiply that by whatever the cost of milk might be so I'm just gonna make that our place is about one pound 20 25p that's the cost of milk I'm gonna click on OK there we go now the next field I'm going to enter and the next field oh hold on you see this where we have a cost of milk there's one thing we need to do in there see let's go back in here and we just have to make sure that we select result type the result type in this case I want it to be currency okay make sure that is done and let's look here there's nothing to do here and that is fine result type is currency now the next field that is going to be coffee and that's going to be number as well there I can just copy the numbers that I have in here let's copy all of that so you have 1 to 15 as well so let's come back to the lookup of the coffee change that to combo box and where we have roll source I enter the value I copy the roll source type that is going to be value list okay now go back to general see where we have the default if you guessed that's going to be zero now underneath here create another field that we will call cost of coffee and cost of coffee is going to be calculate the data type so we enter the same formula for that coffee multiply that by 1.85 there and result type change the result type to currency that is fine the lookup nothing is done in on the lookup now let's do the same thing for maybe let's go for bread and in here and we'll have cost of bread as well so copy paste there and here that is going to be number let's copy the number that we have in here come in here change this to combo box and road source type value list road source 1 to 0 to 15 and the default value make that zero that's good now cost of bread I'm going to change that to calculate so that is going to be square bracket bread let's multiply by 0 0.75 click on OK and change the result type change that to currency now let's enter maybe a few more items I'm going to go for beans all right we have beans in there and the cost of the beans as well beans here is going to be number and that very number we change that to let's copy numbers again 
copy that now go to the lookup and change display control to combo box and here where we have row source type we're going to change that to that and underneath paste the value 0 to 15 and go back to general the default value will be 0 that's fine now let's come into the cost of beans change that to calculate and beans is going to be as follows so let's multiply that by maybe two pound thirty that should be a square bracket there click on ok and the next one is going to be latte and latte is going to undo that latte is going to be number and underneath here change this to combo box and place that in there change this to value list and the default will be zero now cost of latte cost of latte data type is going to be calculated field there we go no that's latte multiply that by two points there 54 all right that's taken care of now change the result type to currency that is good now let's take care of the last one I'm gonna call that espresso espresso is going to be number and look up change that to combo box and the role source type change the role source type to value list and in here enter 0 to 15 now underneath here I'm now let, let's see 0 to 15 let's go back to general and change that to 0 the default and right underneath here I'm going to enter cost of of the cost cost of espresso and change that to calculated field and in here we just enter espresso multiply that by two point eight two point three eight there we go and change the result type to currency brilliant all done okay that's fine now so I'm gonna right click and just save that and just a quick run around to make sure they all have the right properties in them especially the numbers right okay that looks good and let's see the calculates um, we have currency currency no no currency here so we need to change that to currency there we go that's why you need to have just have a quick look around all right that is fine okay I'm going to add two more fields one of them that will calculate all of the item and the other one will calculate the cost of the item so I'm going to call it total number of items all right and below it is going to be total cost of items there we go and for 
the both of them this is going to be calculated field as well where right there and the field is going to be let's start with the milk that is it so square bracket milk close that plus the next one is going to be coffee okay followed by bread plus beans that is correct plus latte and espresso now yeah there we go so I'm just taking care of the calculation for that there and I'm just gonna copy that I just want to show you guys what I've added up there so I'm gonna paste that and the notepad so that you guys can see it properly that's my calculation on notepad so minimize that click on ok now let's repeat the same thing for the total cost of items come right down select calculated field I'm gonna paste all of that in there the only bit that I need to add to it will be cost of so that's gonna be cost of there we go so we'll copy that and repeat the same thing for the other ones paste space we have beans here latte and espresso there we go so I'm gonna copy that as well and click on OK let's paste that on my note that's it right there look at that okay I guess you guys can see that so it's not there's no big deal about it it's quite easy to follow so let's change that so that you see it all properly there okay let's minimize that now one thing that we've left out is for the number of item we're not going to change anything there more than we just need maybe just specify integer or you can enter long integer as for the cost of item we need to change that to currency select currency and that is it done okay so if I right click and save and uh, let's view it now so we can select anything in here and the value should be displayed automatically look at that okay all right so that is fine and as you can see it's telling me you have 10 in there and that is the cost okay that is fine save that I'm going to click on create and let's select form design and let's adjust the form design that much now let's go straight into design here and grab hold of the tab control there we go as for the top control I'm not going to need the second page so I'm going to delete that page and select the very first page in there change the, the caption to maybe items alright that's fine now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to now enhance the look of this top control so let's go to the design again here and I need the yeah that's what I need let's 
called rectangle we just drag that here there and let's look for the for the style border style I'm going to change that no bother with let's make it four all right that's good and now maybe change the color right that is fine let's move it that much okay let's copy this rectangle let's control C and control V to paste it there and just place it beside it I'm also going to copy it again and move this down here do right so let's increase the height of the other one I'm going to make that about 14 oh, let's say 17 point or 13 point something okay that's fine now let's copy this again control C and paste that right underneath here right here I only need about two of those okay copy it again I think yeah look at it right up here bring it down and I'm going to paste it right here okay just drag this that much right I think we are about to start now alright that is fine so if I right click and view from view this is how it's all looking now okay that's not too bad all right, that's good now the next thing we want to do is let's end this first we now want to add all of the components let's come in here now let's add all of the component first of all move this up yeah This ones as well get them up okay that's fine now click on design inside design you see where we have add existing field click on that drop that down let's select the milk and I'm gonna bring that right here there we go and I'm going to now select the chocolate and yeah and just bring those here there we go all right let's repeat the same thing for the cost of items select it all okay select these two as well and bring them here All right, I think it's at the back. Okay, cut it off and paste it right in here. There we go. All right, but these two, we have to be down here, so grab hold of that and this one as well bring it down bring this down there okay and here what we want in here is we want to change that to 
calculator so let's come in here grab the or maybe we should use the label yeah we can use the label why not okay I have the label there so let's add button Okay, I'm going to cancel that because I will be customizing these buttons. Okay, that's one. Guess you guys know how to develop a button. So I'm going to copy this and just kind of like speed it up. Alright, I just had to speed that up so the buttons is ready for for the calculator so let's add more buttons here so let's come in here um, grab hold of that just paste that in here so I'm gonna call that that will be next add text to it and change the name of that to CMD next um, let's get rid of that CMD next there we go I'm gonna bring it here and then copy it back in here cut it off select this and paste it there all right so it should be there now good that is why I prefer to speed up the whole process now the next one is going to be for previous let's paste that underneath here and change that to previous in the previous right finish now cut it off select this paste there we go now let's go for save print and back in design okay that's going to be for save yes yeah, save and the save I think is underneath as well go back in there get rid of this save just make it save alone CMD save There we go, that is it. Bring it out. Select that and make sure you cut it off. Paste that in there. Alright, we have saved. Now we need print. And I'm going to paste that out. Print record. Yeah. Let's call it print and change the variable name to print there call it paste that paste it right in there okay one more and that is going to be for the exit so select that very button paste it out here and change that to exit and I'm going to change the text to exit CMD exit that is the name finish cut paste it right in there there we go all done now so all I need to do is just to tidy up the whole 
button to make it look a little bit presentable. Alright, let's increase the size of them anyway. Select it all. Alright. So I'm going to just enhance the look of the buttons and I will then get back to you guys. But first thing first, let's change the text content on it. Let's come in here. Where we have font, I'm going to make that something a little bit readable, maybe 22. And let's change the font width. I'm going to make that bold. What about the font color? Let's look for color there. Yeah. Let's make it dark. Okay. And the back color. I'm going to change that too. Alright, that's fine. So I'll just enhance the look of these buttons and I'll get back to you guys. Then we can take care of the calculator. So let's do that. Okay, that is done. Now let's enhance the look of every component here. I'm just going to change that to. Let's change the size of everything. Right, and also change the font to 20 and font color black. And after that, I just rearrange it a lot. Repeat the same thing for these ones. And 20 there. Okay. Alright, so all I just need to do now is rearrange the whole lot. So that is readable. Okay, so I'm just going to rearrange it and get back to you guys shortly. So this one should be 20 as well. Make it bold. And here's the color. There. Alright, this is how it's looking now. I'm going to right click and select view form there okay now let's do one thing as you can see it is all working because the code is there already so let's come in here and select new select new item look at that there we go look at that it's all working as we expect the only bit that is not working is just the calculator. So let's take care of the calculator. Right click and let's go to design view. I'm going to select 7 and let's go straight to event here. And click on the three dot in there. Select code, code builder. There we go. BTN7. But before I start, oh, let's do something. Let's just say if lbl display dot caption equals zero then we want lbl display to display seven come down here paste and change that to seven else LBL display equals LBL display plus seven. And and if right. So that is fine. Okay, so what I just said is if there's zero there and if the button is clicked just change that to 7 if I keep clicking keep adding 7 now right 
on top of here I'm going to create a variable I'll call that let's say option explicit first before we create our variable so the very first variable I'm going to say dim first number as double so I'm going to repeat the same thing for second number second number answer is the second here and here is going to be answer and right underneath here I'm now going to create an operator as string there that is it done so since I've taken care of seven I'm just going to copy that let's go into the design and I will select eight select eight come right here event click and paste that for eight and just change seven to eight repeat the same thing for nine select nine come straight to the event code builder and paste that is nine I guess you get the whole idea I'm just gonna speed up the numeric character and get back to you guys shortly okay all the numeric characters are taken care of as you can see that's five four three two and one now let's come here and let's select the operators so this is going to be let's say first number that is equals LBL LBL display so copy this and just paste it there all right so whatever is in first number is stored inside whatever is in LBL display is stored inside first number so let's clear the label and in that case operator that is going to be equals the plus sign so I'm going to copy that use that for the subtraction a subtraction select that there we go paste that for subtraction and changes to subtract now multiplication repeat exactly the same thing for that paste changes to multiplication then division there we go and paste and change the operator to division there okay so let's save the form anyway it's not save I'm just gonna call it build form okay that's fine there all right so all of those are taken care of let's take care of the this ones oh we haven't taken care of the zero let's come in here where's zero oh we've taken care of that that's it that's fine now let's take care of backspace and we just use the following lines of code for backspace okay let's come right down here select the CE there we go with the CE I'm going to declare two variable one is F one is S and let's say F 
for first of all let's just clear whatever we have inside the display okay make that zero and f equals first number s equals second number and f equals clear s equals clear and that should take care of the c e why the c clear should just change the whole lot to zero select this come in here paste now backspace is taken care of so let's take care of plus minus there so with the plus minus let's get hold of uh, our display paste that in there I will say minus 1 multiply by C D B L okay and what are we multiplying we're multiplying whatever we have in there there we go that should take care of that okay so we now need to take care of let's save that in fact let's even see if this thing will work all right it's working that's fine okay what about oh, full stop is not working yet backspace yeah that's fine multiply by five no multiply by two all right so let's take care of the the decimal place and the equals okay let's come down here decimal place select that and right here we use the following lines of code for the decimal now let's take care of the equals come right here select equals code builder paste that in there change this to second number right let's use an if statement if up operator equals that that means there should be then then answer that to be equals first first number plus second number there we go and we now get LBL LBL display dot caption equals answer there we go else so let's use else if grab this else if if we subtract then we subtract here else if again and paste that end so if it's division then we divide here if it's multiplication then that becomes multiplication and there and that is that done all done so I'm going to run it save that come back in here right click and view from 8 multiply by 3 there we go it's working that is fine clear 
7 divided by 5 there we go everything is working how we want now what is left for us to do is you see the exit if I here click on this exit now it's going to close the whole system which I don't want so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click here and in here select design view now let's go to design here inside the design we want to select view co no convert from macro to VB so visual basic so click on that convert all done so I'm going to select the button select that very button and come right here and that is it you see if I click on it it will just exit out I don't want that so I'm going to change this to dim I exit as VB let's say message box results all right so I'm now going to say I exit equals MSG box let's just enter a statement in there confirm if you want to exit all right close that and comma let's say VB question yeah and that's a plus VB yes no comma and I'll just call that billing system that is the fourth argument there we go now let's use a new statement oh let's see one okay this should be a comma all right come back in here let's use an if statement if I exit equals VB yes then this will happen but this will close everything that is the part I don't like so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this let's comment this out and just say command dot close paste that in there command dot close comma and leave some space for me to breathe okay that is it all done okay those are the lines of code these are just comments you can delete that if you want this one's Delete those. This is the one I commented out. All right, those are the lines of code for my exit button. So I'm going to save and let's give it a shot. Run exit. No, I don't want to exit. So I'm still within the system. Okay, so with that, guys, that is how you create your own billing system in. Microsoft Access. So with that, I'm gonna say bye for now. You all have a nice day now, and thanks for watching. Bye.